All right, welcome to another crappie moment. We are on the water and we're not fishing. Might dip my line a little bit uh, today, not sure. Um, out here mostly scanning today and I wanna do a video on uh, how to find uh, crappie, where to look on a map. So we're gonna talk about that uh, today. I'm actually gonna show you on a map and break down a section of a creek um, and show uh, places uh, to look uh, for crappie, mostly during the summer, uh, but also uh, point out some places that you could find crappie during the spawn or perhaps uh, other times of the year. So, all right, uh, let's, let's get into it. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button for me, smash that like button, uh, leave me a comment, uh, let me know what you think. I appreciate your support, couldn't do it without you. All right, let's get into it. All right, folks, we are gonna use this relatively uh, short uh, creek arm as an example of where to look for uh, crappie. Uh, it's summertime right now, so we're gonna mainly focus on that. Um, but you know, maybe real quick, we'll, we'll touch on uh, some other areas of where you can find them in other times of the year. But this creek kind of splits off into a Y uh, back at the back of the creek, back up in right there where you see, you know, that icon. Um, and then back over here on this side of the Y, it splits back off and that's the shallower areas of the creek. And of course, all along the bank on both sides of the creek uh, are shallower areas where you can uh, find crappie, catch crappie uh, during the spawn, uh, during the spring, anywhere from, you know, uh, late January to uh, late April, early May, depending on where you're at. Uh, but for summer, um, you know, the places, you know, you can catch crappie, you know, we're catching crappie uh, shallow water all, all summer long. We've been catching crappie in 10 uh, feet of water or less, 12 feet of water or less. Uh, but uh, you, you want to focus on looking at uh, uh, brush piles, uh, fallen trees uh, right here you can see I have some stuff marked right here in this area right there. Uh, and that general area is a tree that comes down from the bank, you know, that bank right there, and it falls and extends out into the water uh, in, in that general area right there. And it goes out, you know, a good, you know, 20, uh, 25 feet. Uh, so you could, you know, fish from the bank in that area. And, you know, that area, you know, uh, it, it's, you know, 10 feet of water, um, uh, a little more. And we're going to zoom in right here. And these lines that you see on this map are contour lines. And, you know, the, the closer that you see the contour lines, the more dramatic the drop-off is in that area. It's like over here uh, is super shallow. It's a flat, generally flat over here. Uh, same thing, uh, mostly back over here. Some contour lines, but they're not super close together. Um, but you get over here to this bank over here, you'll see that the lines are a lot closer. So there's a ledge there that drops off from the bank and extends out uh, into deeper water. Um, and a lot of times that stuff will go from anywhere from a couple of feet down to, you know, 15 or 20 feet within, you know, the space of, you know, 20 or 25 feet. Um, sometimes a lot steeper drop off on like a, a bluff wall or, you know, a, 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 a steeper ledge or something. But great places looking uh, during summertime are these places along the ledge here. Uh, there, you know, you're fishing along this ledge uh, where these uh, tight lines are on a contour map. Uh, if you don't have electronics, you can go and pick up a lake map. You'll have to, you know, get a lake map of wherever you're fishing. You usually pick one of those up at a tackle shop that's near 
uh, the, the lake that you're fishing. Uh, but, you know, if you've got electronics, you know, you're seeing these contour lines. And along both sides of these banks, you see these contour lines are super close together, which means, you know, the drop off is uh, more dramatic in that. And you'll see it on both sides of the bank. You'll see the contour lines over here on this side as well. So, you know, uh, during uh, the, uh, the spawn, a lot of times crappie will, you know, go to these flats uh, back in the back of uh, creeks and they'll spawn. And then once the spawn is over, they'll start to slowly move back out. They'll start to move out back through the creek channel and you'll see these markers that I'm tapping on the screen and they'll slowly move back out. They'll be along the ledge, they'll be in the center of the channel. Um, you could see the ledge on both sides of the bank there where the light contour lines are tighter. And then they'll just slowly move back out as the water temperatures, you know, start to rise and as you get into summer. Um, and then once you get into summer, you know, you're going to fish generally, you know, good, good depth to fish during the summertime is usually anywhere from 10 to 20 feet, uh, depending on uh, where you're at. Yes, you can catch a uh, crappie uh, in shallow water less than 10 feet. We've, we've got a video about that as well. Um, uh, but as the warmer weather goes in, fish, you know, the crappie are slowly going to move and migrate uh, back out that creek arm. Uh, they'll, they'll go right down uh, that channel. Uh, they'll set up on these uh, main lake points once you get back out of that channel, out of that creek. You see we've moved uh, out of that creek. And then you've got these main lake points like right there. Uh, it is a, a great place to look uh, for summer crappie. Uh, along those contour lines. These areas over here on this main lake point where you can fish anywhere from, you know, 10 to uh, 20 feet of water, you'll find a lot of times schools uh, stacked up and schooled up uh, in areas just like that. And then over here on this other side of that creek arm uh, where uh, there's that point right there is a great place to look uh, for crappie. And again, you can see those contour lines are are, are, are fairly close together so you know there's a ledge there uh, and it provides good cover um, uh, for, for crappie. Uh, they're they're going to be able to go to that shallower water uh, chasing bait fish up in, in that shallower water and then be able to go back out to safety down in that uh, deeper water that's you know 15, 20, uh, 20 feet. These are great places to look for summer crappie out here in the middle of the mouth of this creek scanning that area or if you don't have electronics just trying various depths uh, casting your line uh, trying various depths uh, uh, until you find at what depth uh, the crappie are but these are places that you want to look to find crappie this is an actual map and and these are great places you know brush piles are in here in this creek um, this is, you know, a great example of prime uh, places to look uh, to find summer crappie. So, you know, earlier in the year, they're in the back of the creek, and then they slowly move back out uh, down that channel uh, to the mouth of that creek, these main points, like right there, back over here on this area. Yes, you can find them here in the mouth of the creek as well, schooled up. Uh, these are great places to find uh, uh, summer crappie. So... Uh, get out there, uh, drop a line, uh, go get some nice crappie. There he is.
All right, that's gonna do it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hope you learned something about where to look for crappie as we break down this uh, little creek that I showed you today. Uh, dip my line a little bit. Uh, I think, you know, I might show a couple fish that I caught maybe. Um, if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, smash the like button. Uh, leave me a comment. Really appreciate the support. Uh, we will see you next time.